everybody. Um, so today I thought I'd make a quick video um, just basically showing you how you can take an old sort of busted up wig um, where the hair is still good but maybe the wig cap con uh, construction itself is a little bit more broken down and you want to just salvage the hair and make a new wig out of it. Yeah, so I thought I'd make a quick-ish video on um, how to do that where you can save good hair off of a bad wig. So yeah, keep watching. Thought I'd end up with time Thought it wasn't a match Posting songs about Mickey Now I listen to men Even though my son married And for being I'm so thankful Wish I could say thank you to Malcolm Cause he was an angel One time you love One time you patience One time you say I'm so amazing Um, your wig block. Um, you need a new wig cap that looks something like this. Um, and with these wig caps, I always like to get um, a cap that's quite stretchy, like the cap itself, just because I feel like it gives me a little bit more room in case, um, you know, someone with a bigger or a smaller head is trying to wear the wig. So get something with a little bit of, um, you know, stretch in it. So that's the wig cap. You're obviously going to need the old wig. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors. And you're going to need some needles and threads that I've already sort of pre-done. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the old wig. And in the same sequence that these tracks are laid in this old wig, I'm going to take them out in that order from the back to the front and sew them into the new wig cap. Why am I hiding behind this wig cap? <laughs> behind um, this new wig cap. So yeah, I think that makes sense. I'm going to take the back row out first, sew that into this wig cap and work my way forward that way. So that when I'm done, I don't have really short pieces that were initially in the back in the front of the wig because that's just gonna make a whole mess of the wig. So work in the order that the hair is already sewn in in the old wig and you won't have any problems. All right, let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put down the, the closure piece and pin it down and I know this all looks insane like the closure is a different color from the rest of the hair but it's gonna work trust me um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use little dressing pins oof, that look like that um, and you'll need about six of these to just find the middle of the wig, which for me feels like that's it, and just pin, just pin it down flat. And the reason why I don't sew it down at this time is just in case I need to sort of move it around a little bit later, because sometimes things don't work out as you plan them. So if it's pinned down, you can always unpin it and move it and sew it down when you're ready. Um, so to each their own, you know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that quickly. And then 
one at the back. Um, and if you guys are wondering how I got this color, this closure, when I got it, was the exact same color as this hair at the back. Um, and I just soaked it in 40 volume developer overnight to get this brown color, which is basically what I'm going to do to the rest of this hair, kind of, at the end of all of this. And I'm going to get it all blended and cut it and make it look amazing. So don't worry, be happy. Get that out of the way. Like so. And then you know everything's secure and good to go. This little piece of hair, um, I can just take a, ball, a duck bill clip and hold that out of the way and boom, you're set. So now I'm just going to carry on sewing up until I get to about 80% of the way up this wig. And then I'll come back and I'll show you in detail how I attach the closure to the wig to the um, wefts and make everything blend seamlessly. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, speed up the rest of this video too because it's all pretty much the same thing. I'm just sewing in a blanket stitch all the way across, working my way up. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen, if not my videos, you've seen videos on how to do that before. Um, but if you guys wanna see a video on exactly how I do my stitches, go ahead and request a video down in the um, you know comment section and I'll make a video about that too. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, um, so at this point, I've pretty much done all the sewing at the back, right? And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start sewing around this closure piece just to secure it because, um, yeah, I'm not really going to be doing much moving around or anything at this point, so I know that this is the best place to sew it down and secure it. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then we'll go from there. Oh, before I forget, um, when sewing down the closure, always make sure that you leave about a centimeter of the, um, where you put it in a centimeter in front of the wig cap. So if that's the wig cap, you want to put it like right there, like just a little bit in front of the wig cap. And the reason I do that is so that when you go to brush the hair down, you don't see the edge of the wig. Everything seems seamless and flat. So that's just my little trick. Um, I'm sure you've heard of that many a times. If not, you're welcome. And because you're going to be um, cutting the wig cap from under the, the closure away, you want to secure this edge, this very front edge down as securely as you can. So definitely go over it maybe two or three times before you start sewing everything else and that'll just make for a very nice strong stitch so that when you're um you know start wearing your wig it doesn't start to come loose here at the at the edge also don't get as tangled as i just did because it's a nightmare um if you take your time while stitching this won't happen but usually it's an easy fix if you find that hairs get um, tangled in the thread as you're sewing just kind of backtrack a little bit go back and loosen up that stitch a little bit and everything should should be okay 
but yeah, maybe just take your time and don't rush like I am, and you'll have much better results. sort of did some work on the front of this closure just to make it a little bit more realistic but this kind of gives you an idea of what the wig should look like um, and you should be left with that um, you can clearly see that this wig was at the end of its road um, all that's left to do with this unit is to obviously just color match, make sure that, because right now there's like six different colors going on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color this wig, just get it to a decent color, cut all the stringy bits and just style and dress it and make it look sickening. So yeah, um, keep watching. <laughs> Okay then guys, um, so this is pretty much what the wig looks like at the end of all the coloring and cutting and styling. Um, I think it looks bomb. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments.